Well, if you live in Kenya, especially Nairobi, and you've stayed in Nairobi for a long time, you must have fallen a victim of some sort of scam uh, through dubious businessman or conman. Today, I want to discuss the issue of scamming in, 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 in Kenya. And scamming for some Kenyans is a means of livelihood. So conning, a way of earning a living for some Kenyans, conning games is a profession in Kenya. Personally, I have been conned not once, not twice, not thrice, but several times. And all these stories I'm going to share with you because even you, you must have fallen victim. There are so many ways, there are so many scams from motor vehicles, car hire, false car hire, name it, in every field, not land purchase, not house purchase, not rentals. People are crying every day. They're being conned their hard-earned money every day by these uh, scammers. Today, I'll start by highlighting with a very common one uh, that perhaps is uh, getting people by surprise. And probably by sharing this, I'll be able to enlighten you or to enlighten people on this type of scam. And this is the Kenya Power scam. The Kenya Power false engineer scam. Now, how these guys get information, I doubt whether they are doing it on their own or if they are in Kahoot. And people are doing everything or anything today to earn that extra coin. It doesn't matter how they are doing it, either morally or immorally, but mostly when they do it immorally, it's really, really bad. So it happened to me last month. I get a call in uh, uh, while I'm out there doing my stuff. And this guy tells me, I'm, fo I'm calling from Kenya Power and we've come to disconnect your electricity. And I ask him, why, why, why are you coming to disconnect? No, you've not paid uh, your bill for the last month. And I told him, I have made some partial payment and I'm yet to make a final payment. So please give me a few uh, days. I'll finalize with the payment. And uh, that was it. He hung up. So I called my daughter. Is there anyone outside the house or outside the, our our home who is saying uh, he's from Kenya Power? And when she came out and checked, there was no one. So that's how easy. Surprisingly, when the call came in, True Caller showed me Kenya Power scammer. So I knew this was a scammer. Uh, so yesterday, the same thing happens. This guy called me and the timing is very exact because the moment you get your bill, two days or three days later, they'll call you. And this is a trend I've observed uh, severally. So this guy calls me, he tells me he's David and uh, he's following up on my Kenya Power payment because I have a debt that I've not paid for the previous bill. Because I recorded his, this conversation and I'm sharing it with you to enlighten you. Do not be scammed. Atunaito wa David Kenya Power. Eh. Oh, stima kushughulikia aje? Haujalipa. Sasa sijui tutasaidia na aje. Ni ngapi kwa outstanding? Naona ni 4780. Oh, 4780. Okay. Na hizo labda nitapata nitalipa next week eh? Najua sasa tunaongea na sahi. Eh. Ile tamaa sasa ilikuwa imetoka na vijana walikuwa wote wewe. Eh. Ile ni wasema mshiri kasema waje nikupie tusaidiane kama wote. Eh. Kama nimefanya mbaya. Haujafanya mbaya ndugu yangu. Sasa 